guys, my name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And welcome to the much anticipated, much awaited desk setup video. I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new desk setup. Um, so many of you guys have been asking me, you know, where I've got this desk from, where I've got this whole entire setup on. Um, so I'm so happy to bring this to you guys and tell you guys about everything I have right behind me. Before we actually start, I want to take two minutes just to say thank you so much to everyone who watches my videos who's been supporting the channel. We just hit 30,000 subscribers, and which absolutely blows my mind. And it's because you guys who watch my videos at home that I'm able to have this desk set up, this dream desk set up right behind me. A lot of these things behind me, I didn't actually pay for. And the things that I did pay for myself have been because you guys have been watching my videos and showing me so much support. So I wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel and allowing me to have this uh, dream desk set up right behind me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and introduce you guys to my uh, dream desk set up. Okay, so starting off, and probably my favorite thing on my whole entire desk is this monitor behind me. This is the LG 29 inch ultra wide display, which is so, so amazing. I know a lot of people have like, you know, 50 inches, 40 inches, but honestly for me, in my university room, having a 29 inch monitor sits perfectly and the reason why i like 29 inches is because i also game on it so it's a perfect like aspect ratio for gaming as well and the main reason why i actually got this monitor myself is because it's so wide it's ultra wide so being able to first of all uh, edit videos and have the entire timeline on my screen makes a huge difference it makes it so much easier to edit my videos and secondly also uh, when i am working when i'm studying in medical school being able to divide my screen up in three different parts and have maybe you know one window on uh, past papers, one window on maybe my calendar and the other window just searching on Google. Being able to you know, divide my screen like that makes me so much more uh, productive and so much more effective with my time. And lastly, as I said, this also works as a gaming monitor. It does have a gaming setup mode. So being able to you know, use the whole entire screen to play games, play Xbox and stuff like that really makes this uh, screen so kind of perfect for me and applicable to my life and how I use it. Also not to mention if I really, really do need an extra screen because sometimes I do like really need four or five screens, particularly when I'm editing my videos. I also use uh, stand so in front of me I have this aluminum stand which I leave on the side and have my laptop on again just allowing me to use my laptop as an extra screen as well what is actually running this uh, whole entire desk setup is my MacBook Pro which is over there in the corner as you guys can see that is a 13 inch 2018 MacBook Pro uh, model with a touch bar I think it's the highest spec uh, MacBook Pro in that sort of category and that is connected directly to my monitor using one single USB type C cable which is amazing so whenever I come back from uni come back from the hospital being able to you know plug my laptop straight into everything you know including um you know the screen the um the hard drives being able to plug it in through a single type c usb cable makes it so much easier to kind of pick up and you know move on the go one thing i almost forgot to mention is that 256 gigabytes on my laptop just is not enough as a youtuber to save all of my videos so behind my actual macbook pro over there i have a four terabyte a wd passport hard drive which is a again connected to my laptop the actual monitor itself is floating as you guys can see here um, it does come with a stand itself but i kind of like having it you know floating in the air it gives me so much more space underneath it to keep stuff there as well and it just looks so much more aesthetic having it floating and also having it floating means i'm able to actually adjust it so if i'm in bed and i want to kind of watch it in bed i can pull it out and the way it's floating is because i have an amazon basics uh, monitor stand uh, connected to the table or over on the right hand side and that's one thing i love about the desk setup moving on to probably the most anticipated part of my desk setup is the actual table itself and let me tell you guys exactly why this has been highly anticipated just now so the best part about this desk is as you guys can hear and probably see in front of me it's actually a standing desk which is amazing and has actually changed the game to how i work i obviously haven't managed to like you know properly tidy up all these cables but having a standing desk as i just said has changed the game for me and changes the way i work to be honest with you before i actually received this desk i wasn't entirely sure how it would benefit my life but let me tell you guys exactly why it has the first way that having a standing desk has changed my life is first and foremost my back pain i actually looked on my laptop and i found out that i spent on average six hours a day working at this desk you know editing videos you know revising for medical school all of these different things and sitting down all day 
just really really isn't good for my posture isn't good for my back and it has led to some back pain which i experienced maybe after around three or four hours of working that's the first reason why the second reason why is being able to stand up while i'm working just changes the game up a bit i don't know why but when i'm tired i'm bored working as soon as i press the standing button and i actually stand up it gives me like a little burst of energy when i work and it kind of just puts me in focus mode and makes me focus on what i have to do in front of me which is working another really good thing about this desk is it's actually really really big like i don't know if you guys can tell from here but it's a huge huge desk which means i'm able to fit everything on it you know my laptop my speakers my xbox over there in the corner it's such a huge desk and means i'm able to fit everything on it and i really really love this desk all right so moving back to my monitor and moving on to the things that are actually on top of my monitor as you guys can see over here i have a, a benq a light you guys can kind of tell that I don't actually have a, um, a desk lamp next to my uh, my desk where I work. And the reason why I love this light is that first and foremost, it saves space on my desk. So I don't actually have to have, you know, a lamp standing on top of me. I love how it's directly above where I work. The reason being is that when I used to use a desk lamp, I feel like when I kind of use my hand and work and I'm writing on a piece of paper, I'd have like a shadow uh, from behind me or from the side, which I didn't really like. It also has different modes as well. So I'm able to put it to yellow or more like a, a dark color which is really good in the evenings when I'm kind of winding down. To the right of that as well, as you guys can see it over there in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, but right on the edge on the corner is a Logitech um, HD camera. And the reason why I have that on my desk here is because a lot of my business, a lot of what I do involves um, video calls and also part of uni as well. You know, being on Zoom and Skype calls is really, really important. I do loads of online tutoring and loads of uh, medicine mock interviews as well. So having a camera right on top of my desk whenever I need it is so key for whenever I work. On the right of the camera as well, uh, over over here is my uh, headphones, which I just keep handy on the side. These are the Bose uh, QC35, I think Mark IIs, and I'm not gonna say much on this. These are hands down, in my opinion, the best headphones you can possibly get in the game. Okay, so now that we've kind of gone through all the main sort of uh, aspects of my desks, let's go on to talk about the peripherals and things that we can see over here on the side. The first peripheral, which I really, really love, are the Logitech Bluetooth uh, speakers I have over here. I only got these two days ago, and these have changed the game. They also have a subwoofer, which I put down below on my desk, which adds loads of bass. These speakers are the best speakers I've ever used in my life and I'd highly recommend them to anyone who wants to get uh, new speakers for their desk. Next to that also is my tablet. I use the Samsung Galaxy S4. I am thinking about um, upgrading to an iPad, but I don't actually use this as much as I used to because uh, being my fourth year medical school means we don't actually spend much time in lectures anymore. Next to that as well, I always, always have a uh, kind of, I think it's called a, a bullet journal. I always have a bullet journal um, by my side. And the reason why is because every single morning, whenever I start off my day, the first thing I always do is write down all of the things I want to accomplish in that day and highlight all of the really, really key things I need to get done. So having that in front of me on the left side is really really key to my setup as you guys can see i also have a few more things that kind of make my setup aesthetic um, i have a few fake plants over here because come on like if you're a youtuber you've got to have a fake plant next to you i also have a little like hippo uh, sort of thing on the side as well uh, something that's actually really really underrated but really really key in my setup is um, having a um, hourglass timer it's not actually an hour it's a five minute timer the reason why i have this in my setup is because i like to time my breaks uh, I normally use the Pomodoro method when I'm studying. So 25 minutes of actually working and a five minute break followed by another 25 minutes. Next to that, I also have a saucer, just a plain black saucer so I don't damage my table when I have coffee and have some hot drinks as well. Coming to the next part of my desk, which I nearly forgot to include is my brand new keyboard. I actually have to go pick this one up. But the new keyboard I got, uh, I absolutely love. It looks so good. But as you guys can see, uh, I got the Joker edition and I'm so, so excited to use this keyboard for a few reasons. The first is that it's very, very loud. So if you guys can hear this, I don't know, there's just something about typing on a mechanical keyboard that makes it so much better for typing. Also, the keys are like a lot bigger. So I definitely will find it a lot easier to type on this keyboard over here. Another thing that I really liked about it is that it's USB type C as well. So there's a type C port over here, which is nice that it's rechargeable, chargeable. Um, and it also has loads of different features like a cool kind of color mode, uh, RGB mode as well. So I'm so excited to use this. It's a full size keyboard, as you guys can see. I'm so excited for this addition to the desk setup. Uh, um, but moving on from that, I have a, a Logitech MX Master Pro mouse, which I use and I've been using for the last year. And this is my favorite mouse I've ever had in my life. 
The reason being is because it has quite a few buttons. So it has a, um, a button down here for my thumb over here. So where my thumb goes, I can actually click um, this, this button right here. Um, it also has a side scroll. So as well as having a kind of top scroll to go up and down, it also has a side scroll to go left and right. And that for me is really key because when I edit my videos, I don't have to take my hand off of the uh, mouse. The reason why I don't have a trackpad next to it for my left hand is that I actually mapped out um, every single kind of uh, key to uh, to use all of the trackpad features. So if I want to kind of like swipe up on the desktop, um, all I have to do is push down on this, um, this scroller here. So I also mapped the side buttons here. So the, si the side buttons over here means I can swipe left to right on my screen as you guys can see behind me. So I don't actually need a trackpad because of this amazing mouse right here. Next to my mouse as well, I also have a wireless charger over here and I normally use a wireless charger for charging my uh, earphones, um, also just charging my phone. Now moving to the right end of my laptop, as you guys might be able to see behind me, I'll zoom in really quickly so you guys can see that, but yeah, right behind me over there, I have my Xbox. As well as that, I also have a Philips Hue light over here and I'll just show you guys real quick what I use it for. So I normally have the lamp over there on the brightest mode and the reason why I have that behind me on the bright mode whenever I work is because I always kind of find that living in the UK when it gets dark around 4 p.m. here, my productivity drops. You know, it kind of feels like it's bedtime, it's nighttime because it gets so dark so quickly. So having a bright light next to me uh, actually is proven to help your focus, help your productivity. And I also use that light as well to wake up in the morning. Um, I normally set it with my alarm clock so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm waking up to a bright light. Okay, so the last kind of tiny few things on my desk, um, above my speaker over here, I have a Google Home. This Google Home is so key because it powers uh, pretty much a lot of my uh, setup. It, I use it to turn on my Xbox, to turn on my uh, Philips Hue light, uh, to turn on my heater in my room. So this really does um, help my productivity whenever I work. And the last kind of final thing, which I haven't fixed yet, up above me, as you guys can see over here, I have my uh, degree, I have my graduation photo for my last degree, and I have my first publication up there in the corner. Whenever I work, I wanna kind of remind myself that I am capable I can do what I need to do. And it's just a bit of motivation to keep me working whenever I, you know, I'm down. So that for me is really, really key. And I can't wait to have the 100,000 subscriber plaque up on my wall as well. So keep liking the videos. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Turn your post notifications on so you can know whenever I'm posting. And let's try and get Kenji's that 100K uh, plaque on YouTube. So that is pretty much my entire desk setup, guys. Um, this, honestly, for me, is the dream setup. There's nothing else that I'd rather add to my desk setup. Uh, and I want to say a final thank you to you guys for watching my videos for supporting the channel because if it wasn't for you guys out there i would not have this desk set up behind me if you guys have any suggestions as to how i can improve it or anything you guys might want to add please let me know with a comment down below and also any questions that you guys might have please leave a comment down below again thank you guys so much for watching this video for supporting the channel make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one